Hi everyone, I'm Michael Price and this is for CTV 609 with Professor uh, Mark Cuthin and this is my secular redemptive film project and this is the video portion. Uh, so I'm going to jump right into this thing here. Um, it was the year 2001 uh, and it was the beginning of a new saga that was released, um, The Fast and the Furious. Uh, these movies are centered around uh, the street racing scene along with other illegal activity that coincides with um, that lifestyle. Um, with an intense plot and character development, it became transparent to finish the story um, that there was need for sequels. <laughs> um, seeing that these movies are incredibly secular, um, thriving on uh, sin and what is uh, now known as malevolent uh, creativity according to the psychology of aesthetics. Uh, creativity and the arts pages 54 to 64 it is interesting to find overtly Christian characteristics messages principles and theology intertwined throughout the film uh, the fifth film of the saga fast five which came out in 2011 contains multiple Christian inferences precepts and uh, different portrayals of redemption along with vivid prayers and a sense of longing for true freedom the use of allegory in this film is not something that is first noticed when viewing, unless you're looking for it. Even with the start of the film being in Rio de Janeiro, seeing the massive statue of Jesus overlooking the city, the notion of a religious standpoint can easily be overlooked. However, the allegory is mostly in the character of Dominic Toretto, played by Vin Diesel, as he is a type of Christ in the film being able to round up people on his side, like disciples, and solve issues with astounding words of wisdom, the gospel according to Dom. But for Dom, it's the ability to convert people and form alliances with them when they come from opposite ends of the spectrum and the law. Brian O'Connor, played by Paul Walker, is a former agent for the FBI and is on the side of Toretto. Hobbs, Dwayne Johnson, is a current federal agent who joins forces with Toretto in retaliation to the crime lord Reyes, played by Joaquin Almeida, along with the parole officer, Elena, portrayed by Elsa Pataki, who ends up dating Toretto and running off with him in seclusion at the end of the film. The fact that these characters were or are law enforcement officers that team up with the quote-unquote bad guy shows the type of conversion within them. This is the aim and purpose Jesus strived for and commanded us to continue to do. The Bible, Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20. Christ affected those who encountered him, to which they had a paradigm shift and a change of heart. For instance, the woman at the well, the Bible, John chapter 4, who dared not go out at the time everyone else went out to get water, due to the shame of her life. Yet, after she met with Jesus, she went to the city to proclaim how she met the Messiah. The gathering demoniac possessed by over 2,000 demons that was naked and cutting himself, showing that he was insane and out of his mind. And the next minute, clothed and sitting in his right mind, he even asked Jesus if he could follow him. But Jesus said, no, go and tell your friends and families what God has done for you today. The Bible, Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. Or take Paul on the road to Damascus. Paul is a Pharisee going around killing all those who profess Christ until his encounter with Christ while on a journey. The Bible, Acts chapter 9, 1 through 9. Prayer can be seen throughout this film in many forms. There's the obvious at the mention of Toretto telling Vince, played by Matt Scholes, that he is to say grace before dinner. But there are prayers of lament, joy, praise, anger, yearning, journey, confession, and reconciliation among others. Prayers of lament seem to be the overarching theme throughout the film. There is a looming desire to be free from the lifestyle that they are in. We see lament in the scene where Vince is offering up a confession about a car boosting deal gone wrong. Upon returning to the crew, he tells Toretto that their family is broken, that his sister is stuck in this lifestyle now. He longs to go home but is unable to, with the final lament being over the lost love of Toretto's life, Letty, to which he turns his back on Vince. The major areas of lament come from Hobbs at the loss of his entire crew and from Toretto at the loss of Vince in a major ambush. Prayers of yearning are prevalent throughout the film as well. This is noted in the scene on the train where Mia, played by Jordana Brewster, is looking in a travel magazine at different countries that do not extradite individuals, implying the start of a new life. 
We also see a sense of yearning in the scene where Toretto is talking with O'Connor about their fathers. At the conclusion of this scene, they talk about their plan to overcome their struggles using the money of Hernan Reyes. We see anger from Hobbs and Toretto, especially in the fight sequence where they go head to head. Interestingly, Toretto fights hardest when he sees his family being taken into custody. At this point, one could argue that he fights for his people, just as Jesus fights for us in our circumstances of life. The Bible, Romans chapter 12, verse 19. We also see meekness as at the last blow in the fight sequence, he could have killed Hobbes with the amount of force he used to crack the cement floor with a wrench. And there are prayers of praise and joy with each accomplishment of mission set forth for the team players. The biggest prayer of praise is when they are all huddled around the stolen safe waiting for Tej, played by Chris Ludicrous Bridges, to crack it open, and he succeeds. We get a glimpse into what that joy looks like in each of their lives. Prayers of praise relinquish us from the burden of maintaining a false status we don't deserve and can't uphold. Movies are prayers, page 19. One of the most notable Christian elements to this film is that of redemption. There are multiple situations and characters that experience some form of redemption. Vince gets redeemed and then experiences reconciliation. When Mia is out at the market, Vince rescues her from a bunch of Reyes' men and returns her back to O'Connor, Toretto, and the crew. O'Connor, at first, advances toward him in a threatening manner, but when informed of what he did for Mia, extends his hand in gratitude. Toretto, out of the silence, rhetorically asks if Vince is hungry. This is a way of welcoming Vince back into the circle. When Vince begins to ask Toretto about being an extra body on the team, Toretto cuts him off, saying, you're in, without hesitation. Another form of redemption is that of O'Connor and Toretto in the eyes of first Elena, then Hobbs, to the point of, as mentioned earlier, a form of conversion to join forces with them. For the majority of the movie, Hobb refuses to see them in any other light than that of a job to complete. But when they rescue him out of the ambush, there is a shift to where at first the team was about to abandon Toretto, just as the disciples abandoned Christ, one might add. Hobbs has a change of heart towards them. This is the type of inciting incident that seemed impossible. The explosion McKee mentions that creates an opportunity to reach the limits of life. Story, page 207. With all the forms of allegory present in this film, the audience is taken on a ride that is action-packed and filled with twists and turns in plot development. It seems that there truly is a desire to reach up to the heavens to find direction, meaning, and purpose in life. Even if centered in a guns-blazing, sin-filled, violent film, the need for human dependency to be fulfilled by God is prevalent throughout. Fast Five truly fits the mold of the film that encompasses prayers being lifted up to God, redemption, and other major Christian inferences expressing a need for conversion from grace to grace. Even if centered in a guns blazing, sin-filled, violent film, the need for human dependency to be fulfilled by God is prevalent throughout. Fast Five truly fits the mold of a film that encompasses prayers being lifted up to God, redemption, and other major Christian inferences expressing a need for conversion from grace to grace. Well, that sums up and concludes my secular redemptive film project uh, with Fast Five. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope uh, you have a new take on the Fast and Furious saga. 